Tom in Severna Park, Maryland, writes to me, Paul, I've noticed that respected audiophiles such as yourself and Tom, that's debatable, but that's all right. I don't know about being respectable. Unanimously agree that electrostatic speakers and other planar types lack dynamics. A simple definition of dynamics indicates that it is the difference in the softest and the loudest volumes within a recording. In reviewing Paul's posts, it appears there is more to it than just that simple definition. I'm at a loss as to what dynamics really refer to as I own electrostatics powered by your 700 amplifier and can hear everything in a recording without starting from a high volume. So, when an orchestral, when an orchestral passage becomes whisper quiet and I hear it, what am I missing? Please be brutally honest. <laughs> am I wasting my life? <laughs> oh, you guy, I love you guys. All right, Tom. Well, boy, that's that's a tough one. Um, first off, let's correct a few things. Planers are very dynamic. Electrostats traditionally are not. However, it depends a lot on your electrostatics, whether the panels are big or small, but they are more limited in their dynamics than a planar or a dynamic speaker. And so technically speaking, we can measure that. And what it says is the loudest to the softest is the amount of dynamic range. Now, here's where it gets really confusing. And I'm not sure I have a great answer for you. I'm just going to rattle on here for a minute and just give you some opinions, okay? Your electrostats probably play louder than you want to listen to them. And they play as soft as you possibly would want. So, if you crank that up and you put on the 1812 overture and we have the cannons going off and it's the Telarc disc but the warnings on the back about damaging your speakers, what are you going to hear compared to what I might hear on a very dynamic pair of speakers like our Aspens? What's the difference going to be? And Without an A, B, you will probably never know. Here's why. As I said, your speakers will play as loud as you want to listen to them and as soft as you want to listen to them. And when that cannon goes off on the 1812, you're going to hear it's like, boom, it's going to be big. It's going to be dynamic. But it won't sound the same as these. And here's why. Well. Not so much here. Let's not get into the technical thing. I don't, we don't really care about that. What is it that you're missing? Okay. I'm going to call it compression. All right. Because your electrostats can't move very far, the amount you have to turn it up to get to a certain level means that you're taking this whole thing that you're, you're pulling all of it up like this. Just picture that as, as this compressed bundle, right? Now, these have greater dynamic range. So as I turn it up, my bundle is going to be like this. Your bundle is going to be like this. And you're going to turn it up. So the, the softest is going to drop right off. You'll still hear it, but this compression effect of here's a normal volume and it can only go this high. This is the dynamic that I have. This is the difference between my normal and my high. And this speaker is going to be like this, even at the same general level. And what will happen is that cannon thing is going to just go way louder. That particular cannon piece because is going to go way louder than what you're hearing. All right. And that's what you're missing. It's almost when you hear it on this dynamics on a dynamic speaker and a, a good one that has dynamic range, what you're going to notice is that cannon blast is going to be louder than you would ever turn your stereo up. Because if you look at it on a, uh, on a, a VU meter, you, you can see it go like this and it goes like that, 
right? So your average level is fairly high and yet yours is going, eh, mine's going, eh, and that's the difference that you would hear. Are you wasting your life? Not if you're enjoying it, not at all. <laughs> so I hope that gives you a bit more of a idea of how that works. And I would encourage you, where are you? Maryland. You're in Maryland. Well, if you ever get out to Colorado, you come see me and I'm going to play you some dynamic things that are just going to scare the pants off you and then you will know. All right. Thanks. Good question. Talk to you later.